was it to put the butty van on the market because now i'm off to work at half five in the morning Ugh. although we now do pull pork sandwiches people you'll find me asleep in the corner <laughs> good afternoon i didn't vlog yesterday um at all um it, it was a sad day for me so i didn't vlog i couldn't be bothered i just didn't want to do it so i didn't and then today well we had some news today this is why i've come to talk to you so just in case you're new here just a quick recap we was away in january in spain and we got gareth got very he got quite poorly he had headaches all the time so we ended up making a mad dash back for him to be seen i think we got back on the 24th for some of January, something like that. And ever since then, he's been backwards and forwards to doctors, to specialists, to this, to that. So we found out today that unfortunately, behind Gareth's right eye, they have found an abnormality. They've not said what it is. In three days' time, he's going for a two hour MRI behind the said eye. But obviously, through my diagnosis of the tumour last year, we know that sort of what's we do, we're guessing but we think he's got a tumour they seem to think he's got a tumour behind his right eye so um, yeah I wanted to let you all know because you all know what's going on we are going to try and stay positive I'd be lying if I said I was over the moon and I was in a fantastic mood because I'm not Maybe don't play with me at the moment. <laughs> it, it, we're going to look on the positive. We're going to try and not dwell until we know more facts. Not coulda, woulda, shouldas. It is what it is. We are going to stay positive, aren't we, Gareth? Yeah. We had discussions today. I'm going to speak to family in a little bit. It, there's nothing more I can tell you other than what we know. But I, I did find out today and I wanted to tell you today because I have been doing daily vlogs. So, but nothing's confirmed. Nothing's confirmed other than the family abnormality behind the right eye. We don't know what it is. Second MRI, this is. The second MRI we're having on Sunday. Within seven days. Yeah, big time you've done it, it's been about two weeks. It's been two weeks to the day since you had your other one. So, I just wanted to update you all. So, we, we know it's coming. We know there's an abnormality there. We don't know what the abnormality is. Um, Gareth's pretty abnormal anyway. <laughs> But um, we're going to try and stay positive like we do. There's no point dwelling on stuff you can't change and we're just going to have to motor on and deal with whatever's coming our way and deal with it. So that's where we're at as of right now today. So three days time, two hour MRI. You have to look on the positives. Got us having a two hour MRI. So I'm going to get to St Costa for two hours. So there's always a silver lining somewhere along the lines. That's unfair because I can't have coffee. But I can. My tumour lets me have coffee. Yours do not. <laughs> it just... You never know. Once you've had this operation, or once we've had the MRI what is, and found it? out what we need to do... It could be, old, could be a tumour, it could be a new brain, it could be anything. Could be. Anyway, I'm, I'm changing channel name now. Because Why I'm are you changing the channel name? Because I'm going to be poorly with a little bit of travel. Oh, well, do you know what? I'm sure the subscribers will still watch. I don't know. No, no, it's not a travel channel. So, we're going to change the channel name. I'm sorry guys, but we're going to have to... You can't change the channel name. Yeah. No. Well, we're not going to be able to travel. Why are you smirking? Eh? Why are you smirking? Because we're going to have to... I'm trying to be serious and have a serious conversation with people. We can change the channel name. What do you right? want to change the name to? The Tumor Twins. Oh, I've got to fuck off. No. No. It can't. <laughs> you can't be serious for, you can't be serious for five minutes so <laughs> oh my god does anybody want him so no we're not we're not we're not calling the channel the tumor twins that's quite funny though 
but we're not doing that. The Tuma Twins on tour. Tuma Twins on tour, even better, yeah. So if you are new here and you don't know, I was diagnosed with a pituitary gland brain tumour last year. Uh, that, that's going okay as of now other than the effect it's had I'm on my eyes. Pirate, it is I'm going okay. Pirate, I have an MRI pirate, myself in a couple of weeks just to check it's not grown, but mine's ocean, fine. Mine's just plodding along ocean, as it does, ho, <laughs> plodding ho, along. Ho, so it's Gareth's we're dealing with at the moment, like I said. Um, this was a serious vlog. <laughs> Gareth just totally threw that in and now I don't know what I'm doing thinking about tumor twins on tour so you just brought my head hey, hey Pews on tour youtube family if you're loving the content here's a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment your support means the world to us you've ruined my vlog now <laughs> well it, i've ruined my vlog yeah but if it's true we're gonna have four brains between us we want to be together I think I barely, I think we barely had one between us in the first place, to be fair. So, so I've got some requests. He's got requests. What requests have you got? Thailand, China, uh, Australia, uh, Cameron Diaz. We don't even know what we're dealing with yet. So no, you can't no. put requests in to demand no. things when you don't, we don't know what we're dealing with. But you're probably not going to get your own way anyway. You want in 27 years, so it's... I'll tell you what I'll do for you, because kettle's boiling. I'll make you a brew whilst that. It's about time. <laughs> I'll make him a brew. So, me and Gareth was just discussing what I've just told you about in the vlog. And it just dawned on him, because it's our anniversary tomorrow, people. Not our wedding anniversary, our actual anniversary. When we first got together, we'd been together 28 years. <coughs> so, Gareth, bought me a gift. What did you buy yeah. me? I bought you a bath. He has? in a hotel so he was like oh i've just realized it's sunday morning we're in scarborough i went beg your pardon he said i bought you a bath for your anniversary i was like what he went i booked an hotel with a bath you dirty bitch ah! people who live in the motorhome will understand totally how beautiful it is to have a bath <laughs> so i'm off away to scarborough this weekend guys i had no clue Yay! although i'm not going to be moty um i'm going to stay in an hotel and I'm gonna have a bath. You dirty bitch! I'm just in from work, I'm gonna tidy around. Um, I've not vlogged much this week, it's not been the best week. I, we do try and stay positive here, just in general. You just have to let things go in life, don't you? <laughs> Otherwise, if you hold all that resentment in people, it just makes you a better person. So we always try to look on the positive, but I'm not going to lie, I have been, I've had a meh week. But even though I didn't take my camera today, I had two lots of subscribers come and see me at the butty van. And it right cheered me up. So I just want to say thanks to Andy and Jane from Skipsy, who come to see us when you're round the corner. They come looking for us at the butty van just as we was cleaning up. But it was lovely to meet you and thanks for your support, guys. And she's going to kill me. But the lovely nurse from who works on the medical outpatients ward at Hull Royal came to see me. She's been following us for a while. I know your husband's called Clive. I can't remember your name, I do apologise. But we had a lovely chat and it was lovely to meet you. Um, thanks for the support and thanks to you all for your support. Um, we've just gained loads of subscribers over the last few weeks and loads of views and thank you. It's really appreciated. I'm going to pull my big girl panties up, stop being a miserable bitch and I'm going to be happy for this weekend. I'm going to open my hospital letter that I've avoided opening because I thought I'd had enough bad news this week but do you know what, it is what it is and on the plus side because my husband has bought me this um, trip into a uh, night in a hotel in Scarborough he you know, ordered me some bath bombs <laughs> so I can have a bath on Saturday with a bath bomb so yes, so I'm going to go away I'm going to make some vlogs and have a lovely weekend George and Maria are coming to Scarborough as well so that'll be nice I'm going to have a good weekend, I'm going to have fun, I'm going to vlog it for you, I hope you enjoy it and yeah I'll catch you in a little bit. I thought I'd come on and say I'm going to be positive, I'm going to start vlogging again and stop being a money bitch. <laughs> I just thought I'd let you all know it's not actually bad news. <laughs> Mine, it's just a letter to say they're going to MRI me to check the size of my pituitary, basically that's all it says. Just going to check my pituitary, um, make sure it's not bigger than 1.4 centimetres. So it's, and, but they have moved me from Hull Royal to Castle Hill for it. That's all I know. <laughs> so it wasn't bad news after all that when I'd been avoiding opening it. And I'm feeling much better. Look at my hair, people.
Nearly shower. Need chill out. Need to eat food. Who ate all the pies? Who ate all... You fat butt. I need to bring my children. <laughs> Catch you in a bit.